Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing and please if you're new to the channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you in your various different zones where you talk boxing and you know Tyson the Gypsy King Fury is right now in pains. Fury is in pains after Olesen Usyk vacated the IBF strap meaning the fight between Usyk and Fury the rematch wouldn't be for the undisputed and that is a big blow for Tyson the Gypsy King Fury who wants all the marbles who wants to become on this favorite champion well will Tyson Fury be motivated is Tyson Fury still motivated to go into the fight well we heard Fury about five days ago in an interview stayed talking about the Fury the Usyk fight and um, yeah and also say he was messing around say a sort of crap say he's gonna go in there and stop him say he's not gonna get the decision and there's no way he beats Usyk by decision because no the powers that be doesn't want it well let's hear from him the Gypsy King Fury lighting him up three or four bunch combinations laughing at him my problem in that fight I probably had too much fun it was probably too easy at times it was too easy it was like I was in there with a local amateur boxer um, and I was just enjoying it too much and messing around and you paid the ultimate price in round nine where I got a 10-8 round and got clipped and that, that's what happens when you have too much fun. I, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. The Utah. So you heard it right there from Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Right. Say so it was lo a lot easier. I could sit like here that. and make, and say, "Oh, this is going to be upset about it and whatever." But I believe, always believe, there's no good in crying over spilled milk. It's it's done now. It's in the past, um, and I believe everything happens for a reason. And you know, I thought it was my time, and obviously, God didn't have His plan for me to win on the 18th, or else I'd have got the decision. But to be honest with you, it hasn't affected me um, anyway. I've, didn't get a decision, lost a split decision, but could have went my way, could have not. I'd have been doing the same shit anyway. Undisputed champion or not, I'm going to still be doing the same stuff as I'm doing now. Dog shit, dropping the kids off, running, having an odd B until I fall over. That's what I do. I don't really do much else. Well, Fury, you can hear the pain in his voice. Fury is a guy that try to mask his pain easily like he's one of those boxers that can mask his pain you know he would tell you he's not hurt he would tell you he's like uh he's everything is okay he would tell you that uh he doesn't want to become a spirit he doesn't want to be a billionaire he doesn't want to be rich he doesn't need money but he would do the opposite thing basically this guy gave uh, Usyk the the lowest he gave Usyk a low ball offer uh for the undisputed proud to turkey alashik uh stepping in you know now that Olochik, alashik stepped in fury couldn't refuse the uh, offer he couldn't there their excuse wasn't there anymore basically so fury saying here yeah, i will still be doing what i do i will still be you know be the uh, who i am fury is burning and the news right now the new news of Usyk vacating the IBF strap should make, basically, to make Fury cringe and say to himself, why am I still going to fight this guy? What am I going to gain? I beat this guy. I become unified. I might not beat this. The thing is that if Fury, if Fury was 100% certain that he beats Usyk, he would go into this fight, the, the rematch. But he's not certain because he knows he cannot add boss Usyk. Fury can only keep up the momentum for some time, but he will always get tired. And Usyk is one guy he would not listen. Usyk always come. He always finishes. He always finishes stronger. I don't know how he does it, but the guy always finishes stronger. He always finished strong. Like this guy, he will look like Don in the in the middle rounds. You would think yo, you're having your way with him. And the later rounds, he come back to life and he put the heat on you and he will make sure he win. So, Fury cannot outboss Usyk. Fat, Usyk is a better boxer. Um, but Fury has the tools to beat Usyk. It's just that, does he still have the punch resistance? 
Well, we don't know about that. That's the thing. The punch register is no longer there. He took a lot of damage in the water water fight. The, the third fight, especially for the second fight, he had his way with water. But the third fight, he took a, a, a damage from water as well. He got dropped twice. By heavy, heavy punches from water. Usyk has not taken a lot of damage yet as a pro. But one thing is certain about Usyk is that he's always in shape. He never, you, ne you can never see him out of shape. Reminds me of Klitschko, the Klitschko brothers. You can never see them out of shape. They still train despite being retired. I just don't know the discipline that those Ukrainians have, but it is, it is, it is crazy to have that motivation. If Usyk was an American fighter, you would see him getting drunk, or a British fighter see him getting drunk everywhere, doing all sort of crap. But Usyk. The people from Eastern Europe, especially Ukraine, those guys are very dedicated to their sport, dedicated to their craft. No matter what they do, they are dedicated. You have to give, give not, not everyone is as good as Usyk and Ishko brothers for sure in Ukraine. But I'm saying that the ones at the top, like Usyk and Klitschko brothers, those guys are very dedicated and they train like soldiers. So, and also you cannot play my, like, one thing about Usyk is that you cannot play my games with him. You Fury always wins fights by my games. He wins his fight by my games. He used the my games to, to to like he used my games to win fights. You know, a lot of his fights he's won by my games. Basically, talk a lot of crap, say some things about the other fighter, make the other fighter feed uh, feed the horse to knock him out, and then he then he like he unleashes Gypsy King style on the, on the on the fighter, but. Well, against F uh, Usyk, he wasn't able to do that. And that was a big disadvantage. And he still can do that. But, <clears throat> well, Fury, no doubt, is an excellent fighter. But Fury is really, truly hurting and crying in. So, well, December 21st in Riyadh, the rematch will take place. Uh, but I think right now the news of Usyk back in the IBF well doesn't look good i think fury will be angry with frank warren we'll say frank warren you know go well, frank warren do want the war to fight joshua the money involved is crazy for frank warren so this hashtag on this period is not happening bro there's no dispute right now and fury sorry about that in fact i'm happy that fury is not the one uh on being on this period and also his next fight won't be on this period I want to see Fury motivated with nothing on the line, with everything to, with a lot to lose and not a lot to gain. Yeah, I want to see Fury, how Fury performs. So this right here is interesting. And um, yeah, can't wait guys. <laughs> Give it a little like, if you subscribe and God bless you all. Uh, well, he say he doesn't feed the he's um, not feeling the, the heat or not feeling sad or not feeling anything he's happy he did well well that's not the case bro because usually we see fury, fury everywhere but we haven't seen him since losing to Usyk. he's no longer gonna be braggadocious he wouldn't say anymore oh my my you know no more no man born from his one his mother womb can beat me that wouldn't be the case so it's kind of crazy but it's what it is. And uh yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. Stay home and bro. Oh, let's go. <laughs>